fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. أهلا بكم في فيديو جديد وحلقة جديدة لقناتنا English for Arabs نهاردا إن شاء الله هناخد النص الأولاني من الوحدة التالتة Today we're gonna have Unit 3 Part 1 Interchange 2 for Sedition Interchange 2 for Sedition Unit 3 Part 1 This video will include Book a book Explanation Answer for the questions of Unit 3 Part 1 And PowerPoint Presentation for the Grammar هتضمن الفيديو مع الكلمات إجابة الأسئلة شرح النص الوحدة بالإضافة إلى شرح القواعد بالPowerPoint Unit 3 Time for a Change Page 16 1 خلي بالنا ان احنا في مرحله البري انترميديت فالمفروض ان احنا نحفظ الكلمات كويس جدا لان الشرح كله هيكون بالانجليش المره دي مفيش عربي المفروض يبقى خالص 1 سايت سيينج كاتيجوريز كاتيجوريز امريكان كاتيجوريز كاتيجوريز كلاسيفيكيشنز كلاسيفيكيشنز كونفينيان Convenient, easy to get to or use, suitable, convenient, suitable, cramped, cramped, too small, dingy, dingy, dark and unattractive, dark and unattractive, shabby, old, and in poor condition, shabby, old. Spacious, large, with lots of extra room. Spacious, large. Huge, very big. Huge, very big. Two, closet. Three, privacy. Privacy, to keep personal relationships secret. So privacy, to keep secret. To keep secret. Parking space, parking space. Words of exercise number six. Common, American, common, common, ordinary, personality, better job, better job, better work, appearance, appearance, shape. Housework, the work of keeping a house clean and tidy. Housework, the work of keeping a house clean and tidy. Move out, move out, bored. I'm afraid so, unfortunately. I'm afraid so, unfortunately. T softy, I'm afraid so, unfortunately. Room and board, accommodation and food. Room and board, accommodation and food. I'm sick of this place. I'm sick of this place. I am unhappy. Unit 3. Time for a change. Exercise 1. Word power. Houses and apartments. These words are used to describe houses and apartments. Apartments, flats. American, an apartment. British, a flat. Which are positive, P. Which are negative, N. So here we have different adjectives. 
they describe the house, the apartment, or the flat. You write here the adjective, positive, good adjective, or negative, bad adjective. One, bright, P, positive. This is bright. This is bright, very good. Bright, not dark. You have light. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Oh, silent here. Oh, silent. Comfortable. Also, American we can say comfortable. O as a sound and O in for silent. Comfortable, positive. Convenient. What does it mean convenient? Convenient, suitable. Good. So convenient, positive. Cramped. 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 Too small. Cramped. Too small. So too small for a flat or house. The house is too small. The flat is too small. The apartment is too small. This is negative. N. Dangerous. This is negative. Dangerous, negative. Dark. Dark. Dark, opposite, bright. Bright, opposite, dark. Bright, positive. Dark, negative. Negative, dark, negative. Dingy. Dingy, dark and unattractive. Dark, an unattractive, negative, expensive, 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 negative. My flat is too expensive. My apartment is too expensive. Expensive, negative. Huge, huge, very, very big. Huge. Very, very big. My flat is very big. My house is very big. My house is huge. Positive. Good. Positive. Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Not convenient. This is negative. Modern. Modern. New. Modern means new. My flat is modern. My apartment is modern. This is positive. Noisy. My house is noisy. Negative. Private. 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 Positive. P. Positive. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet, not noisy. Quite positive, safe, safe, positive, shabby, safe, opposite, dangerous, dangerous, opposite, safe, so safe, positive, P, shabby, 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 old, and in poor condition, old and in bad condition. My house is shabby, my house is too old. So this is negative, negative. Shabby, bad, negative. Small, my house is small, negative. Spacious, spacious, space, spacious. From space means big, big. My house is big. Positive, positive, P. Again the answers. Bright, P. Comfortable, P. Convenient, P. 
cramped n dangerous n dark n dingy n expensive n huge p inconvenient n modern p noisy n private p quiet p safe p shabby n small n spacious p b pair work tell your partner two positive and two negative features of your house or apartment tell your friend tell your friend two positive two good things and two negative and two bad adjectives two bad things about your house or apartment apartment flat example I live in I live in a safe neighborhood neighborhood district neighborhood the area that I live in the area around my house I live in a safe neighborhood and my apartment is very bright so here safe bright however but it's very expensive and a little cramped cramped too small another example I live in I live in a safe neighborhood but it's too noisy noisy my apartment is big and modern my apartment is big and modern but it's shabby it's old Exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you see? A kid, a child. This is a man, father, father and son. What are they doing? The father and his son are trying to close the door. This is the door. The door of what? What's inside this? guitar bark helmet this is helmet what are these old things old things what's this this is a closet a closet a closet a closet american we put old things in the closet. The closet has a lot of old things. The father and his son can't close the door. Number two, perspectives. Which would you prefer? A. Listen to these opinions about houses and apartments. Which ones are about space? Which one are about space, the space of something? Have here. 10 sentences. Listen until the class. Unit 3. Time for a change. Page 16, exercise 2. Perspectives. Which would you prefer? Part A. 
Listen to these opinions about houses and apartments. Which ones are about space? One. Apartments are too small for pets. Two. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Three. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Four. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Five. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Six. Houses cost too much money. Seven. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Eight. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Nine. Houses don't have enough closet space. Ten. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Now, we have these opinions from one to ten about houses and apartments. So, you read the sentence. Tell your friends, agree or don't agree. Do you agree about this idea, this opinion, or you don't agree, you don't agree? Example. Apartments are too small for pets. Too small for pets. Pets, animals, we keep them at home. Animals we keep at home. Dogs, cats. If I have a flat, apartments are too small for pets. Agree or don't agree? Agree. Apartments are not big enough for families. Agree. Apartments, apartments flat, don't have as many rooms as houses. Agree. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Don't agree. I don't agree. Why? Because if you have a house, a villa, you will pay more expenses, more money. You have a villa, you have a garden, you need gardener, 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 a person who cuts the grass. You need doorman, gatekeeper. You need security guard. You pay all the money. In flats, in a building, there are more than 20 apartments who will share paying the expenses of the security guard. 5. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Yes, true. Agree. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces to park your car. If I have a house, I park my car in front of my house. 6. Houses cost too much money. Building houses cost too much money. True. Agree. Houses are not as safe as apartments. Agree. Houses are not as convenient as apartments. Houses are not as convenient, are not suitable are not good as flats, as apartments. Don't agree. Houses 
kids don't have enough clothes space. Don't agree. I don't agree. Because in a house you have a lot of space. This is closet. In a flat you have a closet. In a house you can have attic. Attic, American attic. It's a place for old things. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. I don't agree. In apartments, we have more, we have less privacy than houses. Houses have much privacy. In a house, you are with your wife, with your kids, you're talking, you're screaming. No one can listen to you. In apartments, when you shout, your neighbors listen to your shouts and your screaming. Page 17, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Evaluations and Comparisons. Evaluations with Adjectives. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. Evaluations with nouns. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Houses cost too much money. Comparisons with adjectives. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. Comparisons with nouns. Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Exercise number three. Grammar focus. Evaluations and comparisons. Evaluations with adjectives. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So here enough. Big enough. Adjective plus enough. Enough after the adjective. Okay, so if I have adjective, enough after the adjective. With noun, apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Enough plus noun. So here, enough before the noun. Take care here. Enough after the adjective. The second sentence, this sentence, enough is before the noun. خلينا هنا enough بعد الصفة لكن في الجملة الثانية enough بتبقى قبل الاس. Apartments are too small for pets. Two plus adjective. Most of time this adjective is bad adjective. Like too bad, too small, too noisy, too cramped. Cramped, very small. Too dark. Too, then bad adjective. Most of time. Too big, bad adjective. Houses cost too much money, too much. After much, we have uncountable noun, non-count noun. Money, water, oil, parking. We can't count the word money, but we can count pounds, dinars, Reals, Saudi Reals, dirhams, I count dirhams, I count Egyptian pounds, but I can't count money. I say he's rich, he has a lot of money. So money here means what? Money in the bank, companies, cars, villas, buildings, houses, a lot of things.
comparison comparisons with adjectives comparison to compare one and one you compare between two houses you compare between houses and apartments houses are not as convenient as apartments houses are just as convenient as apartments convenient suitable take care in comparison here with adjectives we use as adjective as so a as adjective as b a as adjective as b and here between as as adjective this adjective what does it mean just as adjective as they are equal in the meaning Ahmed is as tall as Ibrahim Ahmed 150 centimeters Ibrahim 150 centimeters so we say Ahmed is as tall as Ibrahim they are equal comparisons with nouns apartments have just as many rooms as houses here you compare between two a apartments b houses here I compare between two but I use as many rooms as as many count noun after many count noun count noun countable noun a noun that I can count one two three four as many rooms as as many cars as cars one car two cars three cars one room two rooms three rooms four rooms five rooms so here count now apartments don't have as much privacy as houses apartments don't have as much much after much non count noun uncountable noun much uncountable noun as or non count noun non count noun a noun that i cannot count you compare between a and b as much non count noun non count noun uncountable noun example for non count noun much water oil liquids all liquids are non count nouns privacy parking يبقى نخلي بالنا هنا يا جماعه ان في التقييم لما اعمل تقييم بالصفات enough بتيجي بعد الصفه لكن لما استخدم الاسماء enough هتيجي قبل الاسم to بيجي بعدها صفه سيئه too much بيجي بعدها اسم لا يعد اسم غير معدود after much اسم لا يعد لما اعمل مقارنة في الصفات بين شخصين او حاجتين او شيئين احط as adjective as معناه ان هما متساويين في نفس الصفة ديت او في نفس الحاجة ديت متساويين في الطول في او حاجتين متساويين شيئين متساويين في السعر لما استخدم comparison with nouns مقارنة بالأسماء as many بعد many بيجي ايه count nouns اسم يعد as b a and b هعمل مقارنة بين اتنين شخصين شيئين أي حاجة هحط as much وبعد كده اسم لا يعد as b a as much اسم لا يعد as b now let's have this PowerPoint presentation. Evaluations with adjectives and nouns. Evaluations with adjectives. My house is not modern enough. Modern enough. My flat is big enough. So here, modern enough. Big enough. Adjective plus enough adjective before enough big modern before enough 
Evaluations with noun. There aren't enough bedrooms. There aren't enough street lights. There aren't enough windows. Enough plus bedrooms, street lights, windows, noun. Enough plus noun. Noun after enough. Again. Here, adjective before enough. But noun, noun after enough. Evaluations, التقييمات, التقييم with adjectives and nouns. يبقى تاني, لو جالي تقييمات, عاوز اقيم حاجة, او صفها بالصفات, او بالاسماء, and we use enough, adjective, before enough, a noun, after enough. So we say here what? Big, enough, adjective, enough. Enough windows. Enough windows. Enough plus noun. Noun after enough. Evaluations with adjectives and nouns. Evaluations with adjectives. My apartments are too small. The streets are too dark. My neighbors are too noisy. Too noisy. Too small, too dark, too noisy. Two plus adjective. Two adjective. After two, we have adjective. This adjective is bad adjective. We say too bad, too noisy, too dark, too small, too bad, too noisy, too dark, too small. Evaluations with nouns. Houses cost too much money. Houses cost too much money. There is too much sugar in the kitchen. There is too much sugar in the kitchen. Too much plus non-count noun. Too much plus uncountable noun. Noun that I cannot count. بعد كلمة too much بأفيد من اسم لا يعد for example too much money too much traffic too much water too much oil but money we count money one pound two pound three pounds yes we count pounds we count dollars we count sterling pounds we count euros we count currency بنعد العملة But if I said, he has too much money, it means he has cars, houses, buildings, flats, money in the bank, companies, shares in the stock market. لما أقول he has much money, معناها كلمة money أنا مش فلوس بس لا. ده فلوس وعقارات وأملاك وأطيان و وعربيات وفلوس في البورصة وأسهم وأسهم في البورصة وفلوس في البنوك يبقى ده كله كلمة money general word again too plus adjective too noisy too dark too small too much plus non-count noun too much money too much traffic too much water comparison you compare with adjectives But here, you compare between two, and they are equal. A as, adjective as B. Ahmed is as tall as Ali. Ahmed, 150 centimeters. Ali is 150 centimeters. They are equal. So Ahmed is as tall as Ali. A equals B. Ahmed, Ali. Ahmed and Ali are equal. A equals B. We use as, adjective as. When I have two persons, two things, two things, 
that are equal in the adjective. Comparison with nouns. Ahmed has as many cars as Ali. Ahmed has three cars. Ali has three cars. So Ahmed has as many cars as Ali. They are equal. A as many plus after many here. Many cars. Many count noun as B. Ahmed doesn't have as much money as Ali. After much, we have none count noun. Much money, water, oil, parking. This is none count noun. Again, here with adjective to compare between two. As adjective as, they are equal. To compare between two with nouns, as many, as many plus count noun as. Count noun, a noun that I can count. One, two, three, four. As much plus non count noun as. As much plus non count noun, noun that I can't, I cannot count, I can't count. Water, oil, traffic, parking. Flats don't have as much privacy as houses. This is comparison between flats and houses. As much non count noun privacy to have privacy as houses. A. Imagine you're looking for a house or an apartment to rent. You are searching for a house or a flat to rent. Read the two ads. Ads, advertisements. Read the two advertisements, then rewrite the opinions blue using the words in parentheses. Compare with the partner. You have your two ads, two advertisements. You read them, and then you write the opinion and use these words between brackets. You use these words. This is first picture, what you see. This is part of a house, house, spacious, modern house. Three bedrooms. There are three bedrooms. One bathroom, one bathroom, very private. Privacy, you have privacy. In quiet suburb, in quiet area. Two car garage, a, a garage for two cars. $1,500 per month. This is number one. Number two, look at the picture. This is like living room, bookcase, table, sofa, chairs, curtains, curtains. So, smaller, older apartment. This is an apartment, a flat. Smaller, old, older apartment, two bedrooms. One bathroom. Downtown. Downtown city center. Near subway. Near the underground. Underground subway. One parking space. $900 per month. The rent is $900 per month. Every month you pay $900. Now. One minute. You answer. Example for you. There are only a few windows, not enough. There aren't enough windows. There aren't enough windows. Number two. It's not bright enough. Not bright enough. So you don't have a lot of light. It's dark. So it's too, it's too dark. 
Two, it's too dark. Three, it has only one bathroom. Not enough. It doesn't have, it doesn't have enough bathrooms. It doesn't have enough bathrooms. Four, it's not convenient enough, convenient suitable. So four, it's two, two bad adjective. It's too inconvenient, inconvenient, not convenient. It's too inconvenient. Five, it's not spacious enough. It means it's too not spacious. It's too small. It's too small. Six. It's too old. Not enough. It's not new enough. It's not new enough. Or it's not modern enough. Seven. It isn't safe enough. It's too unsafe. It's too unsafe. Another answer. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Eight. There aren't... Okay, there is only one parking space. Not enough. There is only one parking space. One space to park, the gar to park your car. Like a small garage. So eight. There aren't enough parking spaces there aren't enough parking spaces there isn't enough parking there isn't enough parking there aren't enough parking spaces again the answers one there aren't enough windows two it's too dark three it doesn't have enough bathrooms four is too inconvenient. Five, it's too small, it's too cramped. Six, it's not modern enough, it's not new enough. Seven, it's too unsafe, it's too dangerous. Eight, there aren't enough parking spaces. There isn't enough parking. B. In exercise number B, you will use the comparisons. Write comparisons of the house and the apartment using these words and as, as. Then compare with the partner. So here we have different adjectives and nouns. So say the house is not as noisy as the apartment. The apartment doesn't have as many bedrooms as the house. You compare between the house and the apartment. So in number B, you have here, this is the house, this is the apartment. You compare between both of them. Noisy example the house is not as noisy as the apartment The apartment doesn't have as many bedrooms as the house Bathrooms The house has as many bathrooms as the apartments the house has as many bathrooms as the apartments. Spacious. The apartment is not as spacious as the house. The apartment is not as spacious as the house. Private. The apartment is not as private as the house. The apartment is not as private as the house. Big. The apartment is not as big as the house. The apartment is not as big as the house.
expensive. The apartment is not as expensive as the house. The apartment is not as expensive as the house. Modern. The apartment is not as modern as the house. Convenient. The house is not as convenient as the apartment. Parking spaces. The apartment doesn't have as many parking spaces as the house. Page 18, exercise 4. Pronunciation. Unpronounced vowels. Part A. Listen and practice. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Separate. Rich. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Look here, unpronounced vowels. What are vowels? Vowels A, E, I, O, U. These vowels are silent. Unpronounced vowels, silent vowels. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. What's a stress? A stress to make the sound higher, louder, and longer. So, if in the beginning of the word there is stress, the sound is higher, longer, and louder, then there is a vowel, A, E, I, O, U, the vowel will be silent. Stress plus A, E, I, O, U, silent. Example, vegetable, E here. This is stress in the beginning, veg, E silent. Interesting, E, E silent, interesting. We say interesting, don't say interesting, interesting. Comfortable, O silent, comfortable. Separate, separate, A silent. I don't say separate, no, separate. So, vegetable, interesting, comfortable, separate, average. So, the vowels are silent letters. خلي بالنا بيجي في الأول stress يعني الصوت بيبقى في ضغط على المقطع الأول للكلمة وبعد كده الحرف المتحرك ده هيبقى silent منطقة أهو مش في الكلام. Vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Here, write four sentences using some of the words in part A. Make a sentence. Then read them with a partner. Read them with your friend. Pay attention to unpronounced vowels. Okay, example. In my, home to, in my hometown, the average apartment has two bedrooms. Average. E silent. In my house, I have different rooms, different rooms, different rooms. Comfortable. My house is comfortable. Interesting. I have an interesting channel. Vegetable. Say vegetable, not vegetables. No, vegetable. E silent, vegetable. I like eating vegetables and fruit. I like eating fruit and vegetables. Exercise number five. Now, look at the picture. What do you see? What's this? A young man. He's what? He has a laptop. He's writing. This is a small television. What's this? This is a bed. Where is this young man? Where is he? What's this? It, what's this? Is this a house? A room in a flat? 
Let's listen. Listening Capsule Hotels. Page 18, Exercise 5. Listening. Capsule Hotels. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program. Your home is my home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room? Or should I say each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV... A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. Page 18, Exercise 5. Listening. Capsule Hotels. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program. Your home is my home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room? Or should I say each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV... A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. So what's a capsule hotel? Capsule hotel is a hotel with very, very small rooms. These rooms are 2 meters in 1 meter and 1 meter height. The high 1 meter, the length 2 meters. The width wide one meter. So, how can you describe the capsule hotel? The capsule hotel is 
cramped, cramped, very small. Also, it's busy because you have a lot of things in it and it's convenient, very suitable. Expensive? No, it's very cheap. Not expensive, cheap. Dangerous? No, it's safe. Bright? There is light in it, maybe because there is reading light. Number B. Listen again. In addition to a bed, what does the hotel provide? Write four things. Four things. The capsule hotel provides a television, a reading light, a radio, an alarm clock, and lockers to keep your personal things. Things. So again, the capsule hotel provides television, reading light, radio, an alarm clock, and lockers. The capsule hotel provides a TV, television, a reading light, a radio, an alarm clock, and lockers. 6. Writing a descriptive email. Imagine you've just moved to the apartment. You moved to this apartment. Write an email to a friend comparing your old home to your new one. You have an old home, you have a new house. You make a comparison. So here, as you see, you have bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. So you have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, one bathroom, one bathroom, kitchen, living room, living room, like reception, bedroom. So two bedroom, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, a living room, a closet. Dear Emma, how are things with you? How are things with you? How are you? My big news is that I just moved to a new apartment. Apartment, a flat. I just moved to a new flat. Do you remember my old apartment? Do you remember my old flat? It didn't have enough space. My new apartment, my new flat, has a huge living room and two bathrooms. In my new flat, there is very big living room and two bathrooms. Also, my old living room was too dark, but my new one is brighter. It has a lot of light. You have here different windows three windows but there aren't enough windows in the bedrooms of course okay inside the bedrooms there aren't enough windows inside the bedrooms so they are too dark they're too dark there are this is gonna be homework you are going to write an email about Comparison between your new apartment and your old apartment. B. Per work, read each other's emails. How are your descriptions similar or different? You are going to read your email and your friend is going to read his or her email. And then you make comparison. Now that's the end of unit number 3, part 1. Wish you all good luck. Let's get the homework. Homework number one. Answer the first three pages in the workbook. You have to keep the words by heart. هنحفظ الكلمات كويس جدا. جاوب على ثلاث صفحات كتوع الوركبوك كتوع يونس 3 أول ثلاث صفحات. هنسمع مرة واثنين وثلاث. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Finally. Go to www.interchangearcade.org and watch the video of Interchange. خش على الموقع بتاع interchangearcade.org هنحل الأسئلة اللي على نص الوحدة الثالثة وكمان هنتفرج على حلقة الفيديو الخاصة بموقع الخاصة 
بكامبريدج والموجودة ليونت 3 wish you all good luck please if you like it share it and subscribe والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن نجيب كتاب انترتشينج في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم. الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا. في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي مجرد أن تخرج من مترو أنفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب إنتر تشينج سلسلة كلها وليها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الأمازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعت الانترتشينج 